Yo, what is up, Sting Nation? It's your boy Stingray back again with another electrifying video. Now, there are a few people out there who have this problem called the Joy-Con Drift and a lot of people including myself are very annoyed and are trying to find ways now I just went over YouTube and I wanna try out a simple method now obviously for you to be able to fix that problem you're gonna need your switch and the broken Joy-Con. In my case, it's this left Joy-Con. So, you're gonna want to take it out, right? And then, what else do you need? You need, uh, right, you need alcohol, this specifically, and cotton buds. Sadly, I do not have cotton buds, but my grandmother has this uh, cotton bud um, cotton bud uh, it's a resourceful cotton bud thing I, I don't know I don't know where she got these but you guys get the point right okay uh, but you're also uh, okay so if you look at your Joy-Con closely, there's a thin there's a thin layer of rubber there on the thing and you're gonna want to get in between that. So what I want you what I want you guys to do is to take like tweezers or something just lift that bad boy up you're gonna want you're gonna need to get in between that so that the alcohol is uh so that the al alcohol goes inside but not too but not too far inside because it's going to break your joy con so uh what i'm going to do here is i'm gonna rip like a thin yeah there we go a thin layer of a thin layer of cotton from that and then just uh frick ah wait uh kind of Ah, there we go. So I've seen my grandmother do this a lot. So she she rips off a she she rips off a thin piece of cotton from the cotton ball and then just uh, roll it around the stick. Okay. So. Probably should have gotten a thinner uh, stick. Anyway, all right. So you have your Joy-Con, you have your cotton bud, or Q-tip, as some people see it. Uh, so now you're gonna get your your alcohol and just wet your Q-tip with it. Oh, crap. Mine. Mind you, this is my first time doing this, but I mean, like you gotta find a way to fix this Joy-Con drift without spending a single buck, right? So you're gonna want to wet that just a little bit, not too much, because you don't want the alcohol. 
difficult to go too far inside. Right? So, let me wet the in-between part of the and just roll the Joy-Con around. I don't I don't know how my mother is a my grandmother is able to roll a thin piece onto this stick. But you know whatever works. Eh, I don't know how she does it but actually let me try again. She takes like a ridiculously thin layer. Okay. So I'm gonna wet that and go in between that thin rubber layer and then just rub it. Don't uh, one thing you don't do is to soak the cotton bud because or the q tip. If you soak it and it gets into your Joy-Con, you're gonna have to replace it because it's going to... Okay, good. It's still working. Alright, so now that you have that happening, what I want you to do is... Turn on your Nintendo Switch. And then go to the system settings, scroll down to controllers and sensors, and it will give you a list like this. A list like this, right? And then what you do is you scroll down, and then you find, you'll see calibrate control sticks. So if this method doesn't work, if this method that I just did does not work, then <laughs> you and I, buddy, have no choice but to get a replacement, not a replacement Joy-Con, a replacement analog stick. Uh, it's around, well, for my, my Filipino countrymen and countrywomen, that's around... 261 pesos I think in Lazada but for like my international subscribers um, US it's probably gonna cost you around 10 15 bucks probably I'm not entirely sure okay anyway you press control Oh crap, I forgot to turn on my Joy-Con. Alright, so what you're gonna want to do is uh, when you press calibrate control sticks, it's gonna ask you to press on the control stick of the Joy-Con you want to f calibrate. And since it's since mine is it's this Joy-Con that's gonna be reclaimed. I, I can't English. <laughs> Since this is the joystick that I want recalibrated, I press this one obviously. Alright, so now what you're gonna want to do is obviously you need both controllers on and then you're gonna press X. Alright? And then calibrate. So what you're gonna do is quickly do what it tells you since it's self-explanatory and test out if there's still a drift oh that's surprising it worked and there you have it signation
thank you guys so much for watching check out my social media down below and my friends channels and i'll see you guys in the next video stingray out